How are we doing tonight, guys? So, we're going to do something a little different today. Or we're going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. So, I've got my Light Wish White UV Resin. And I tried to do this a little bit just to see if it's going to work. And so far, it seems to be working okay. What I want to try to do is, I want to try to divide this into sections. And I don't want them to run into each other. And I want it to be my background so I can put something else on the front of it. So, what I want to do is, I want to make... I'm going to use the white because this center is going to be white. This is going to be red glitter. And then this is going to be red glitter. And I don't want them to run into each other. So I'm going to pour a thin amount here of red glitter. A thin amount here and hope it doesn't run over this edge. And then we're going to let it cure. We'll come back when it's all done. And we'll add my embellishments to it. And we'll pour a thin layer of clear over the top of it. So... Basically what I'm doing is I'm building a wall right here. Kind of a little dam. If you will. And I've done one layer across to the thin one. And then I'm curing it really quick so it doesn't flatten out too much. Because I want it to build up a little bit. I don't want it to be full because like I said I'm, we're going to put another layer on top. And we're going to put some embellishments in it. But I want it to be enough that I can add a thin bottom of red glitter and white here. And like I said, I don't want them to run into each other. So I'm going to do the red over there first. Yeah. And I may do that with UV resin even. Because that would actually be easier. I could just cure it with the UV light. And then come in here and add the white in the center. Build it up here. Once I get both lines done, I'm going to come back in with my UV light and my big light and cure it really good. Like I said, I don't want it to flatten out. Okay, so now we're going to do one across the bottom here. And I'm going to do it right about here. This line, I'm not too super worried about it being, if it flattens out a little bit before I can get to the other end here, but I'm trying to cure it fairly quickly. Like I said, I'm just curing it enough so it doesn't run anymore. Because then I'm going to do another layer on top of it. Sorry guys, it's the middle of the afternoon and a lot going on. This is why I don't film during the day usually. <laughs> Hear all the outside noise. Because my door is open to my art room.
here. Alright, put it back here. Let's get the light down a little more than I wanted it to, but that's okay. If I have to, I can give it another layer. I'm not going to keep you on the whole time. If I have to do another layer, I'll do another layer and then we'll come back and I'll cure it. Like I said, I'm going to cure it really, really well with the UV light. And then I'll come back and we'll figure out if we're doing epoxy resin. Depends on how high I get this built up. If I get it built up enough, we may just do epoxy on both sides here and in the center. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to cure this with my UV light, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, I just want to talk about something here. And I'm just, I'm blown away by this. This is the resin I used the other night in those keychains. And you notice I was talking about I didn't have any bubbles at all in it. Let me turn on this. I have stirred this now for three minutes, four minutes, with a popsicle stick. And I legitimately see zero bubbles in there. I'm talking not one, not micro bubbles, not nothing. Nothing, guys. I don't know that I've seen this before. And I did not run this through the carrying machine. I mean, through my resin, bub my resin ears debubbler. Did not run it through there. Nothing. This is straight poured out of the bottle. Don't get me wrong. It is 75 degrees here in Florida today, probably close to 80, maybe 78, but my resin isn't overly hot, it's not sitting someplace, it's in my art room where it's really a comfortable temperature right now, but guys, I can't get over this, wow, okay, I'm going to put you guys back on pause, I'm going to finish this right quick, and we will be back, okay, we are back, so I'm going to take some of this resin and I'm going to pour it in here. And we're going to do about that much of it probably to start with. So if we need more, we'll add more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, and I'm going to add quite a bit of red glitter in here. I want it to be thick with glitter. And it is holographic red medium. I've got the silver spoons from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put, start out putting two in here. We're going to stir it and see where we, see where we are. If it's thick enough. Okay. pretty thick. I think I'm going to add one more spoon. Okay. Alright. I'm going to try this, guys. See what happens here. See if my idea works or if it just runs over the other side. As long as I don't over pour it, I think we're going to be all right. So we're just going to pour some in here. And it's going to depend on how level my leveling board is, huh? down the edge here okay let's take some down here I 
Okay, so I'm gonna stop for a minute. Take my popsicle stick here. I'm gonna push this around just a little here. Okay, so far so good. We haven't went over the edge. I need a little bit more over here just to make sure I got my bottom completely covered. I feel like in a couple spots it's a little bit thin. Okay, so far so good, guys. I'm kind of rubbing some of this up on the edge here a little bit, on the back. Back here, so when I add the clear layer, it's going to have a little bit of a glittery effect there. I'm going to add a little bit more on this part right here. All right, ah, I think it worked. So far, so good anyway. Okay, let me move this out of the way for a minute here. I get my baby wipes out so I'm wipe my stick off here. All right. I know I've got way too much for what I'm doing next for the centerpiece. I can already tell you that. I gotta pour it. I don't want it to run over into this, but it's gonna be white, so. But it's gonna be sparkly white. Okay, so. I think we're gonna do the same thing we did here. We're gonna pour it in here. I'm going to do just a tiny bit more because I do have a little bit bigger area here to cover, I feel like. And we're going to add some Cast and Craft white. I think I'm going to add uh, probably three drops to this. I want it to be very opaque. One, two, three. See what we get. I can still see the stick behind it, but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give it one more one more drop because I am gonna add, like I said, I am gonna add some white sparkle to it as well. Add our white casting craft here. All right, now we're gonna add white glitter in. Gonna add our white glitter in here. I don't know, not 100% sure what's in here. No, it's white. And it is extremely sparkly. And if I have to, we'll make some more white because I have more resin here. Like I said, I don't want to... I 
I don't want to get over into the other area. Yeah, pretty sure we're going to need more. Okay, so I might need the rest of this. Add some more glitter. I'm just going to sprinkle it in. There we go. See if we're going to need the rest of it too, or if this is going to do it. Uh, this might do it. I don't know. If it doesn't, the rest of it will. We might have it. We might have it here. Almost there. Let's see if we have enough here if it starts pulling away anywhere. If I do, we'll, we will add a little bit more to it here. So far, it's staying where it needs to. So let's see what happens here for a minute. We'll just watch it for a second and see. I want to make sure it doesn't pull back from any of these edges. I'm not seeing anything. Although I feel like because it shrinks quite a bit, there's still quite a bit left here though, and I don't want to pour that all in there. Because I feel like if I do, it's going to definitely run over. But I feel like it needs a little bit more. It's probably not a good idea, guys, but we're going to add just a tiny bit more to it. We're just going to make the rest of this up. All right. Cast and craft, here we come. Oh, I see it coming over in one, one spot here. Trying to come over, and I don't want that. 
No, 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 no. Go back. Back where you belong. Go back. Okay, so maybe I don't want to put any more on there. If it's trying to come over there, I don't want it to do it. So, we're just going to add this white to this. And I am going to add some... I'm going to add maybe some... I'm going to add something to this. We're going to pour it in one of these cactus molds here. Oh, what are we going to add? What are we going to add? Let's see. I don't know what I want to put in it. Here, we'll add some of these to it. There we go. It is mirror glass, glass, glitter, copper. I'm going to add a little bit of that to it. And then we're going to pour it into, let's do this one. And that didn't fill it, so that's all right. Trying to come over again. Get back in there. And try to use the red to push it back a little bit. All right. I'm turning on my heat mat here. We're going to get it to cure quicker. Ah, no, 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 no. Why did I do that? How did I do that? <laughs> Drop the washi tape into, into the glitter. Not good. Into the resin. Got to clean that washi tape good. Might never get that open. All right. We're going to let this sit and cure, and we'll be back when this layer is done. And we'll put the next one on. Bye. Okay, guys. So we are ready to add the next layer on here. So I have these little heart stickers. Uh, and we are going to place them on here. I was going to print a dot on my Cricut. I tried, but I printed it so small and dainty, and then I tried to weed it, and oh, it was a mess. Let me just say I got aggravated with it, and I was like, you know what? It's not worth getting aggravated with for something that I had very similar in sticker form. <laughs> so... All right, so I want to do this one definitely, like the rose. We're going to put it kind of covering up my mess up there. We're going to put it covering that mess up there. I kind of fixed it. I was like, okay, let me see if I can do here. Uh, what do we want to do? I'll do this one. And maybe this one. Okay. Do this one up here. All right, and then this over here. And. And then this one. Where 
we think? I think that's pretty. Yeah, I think that's pretty. I have some confetti here. I don't know whether I want to try to put some of that in here or not. Kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Put one there. Oop. Come on, get right there. And. I'm going to put you guys on a pause. Let me get my gloves on. And I am going to pour my resin. And we're going to give this a final coat. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys. We're back. So, I got the resin mixed up here. I mixed up five ounces. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to take to fill this. So, um, I'm just going to pour from up high here. All right. What do we think? I think that's going to look good. I think it's going to be pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right. We'll be back a couple hours and demold it and see how it looks. All right. Bye. All right, guys, so we are back. So this is done. Um, I did have this one here kind of popped up through the top, but it is pretty full. And uh, I think I may just sand it at that spot. Okay, so that turned out really cute otherwise. Once this fully hardens, I just took it off the heat mat. It's still a little soft on the edges. 
I'm going to sand this top piece here. I'll probably clear coat it one more time. And I'm going to use the deburring tool and go around the edge here and clean the edge up. But it worked. My stickers look good. And I'm going to sit this on a, uh, like on a plate stand. I thought it'd be cute. Um, I have a plate stand mold that I haven't poured yet. Oh, here it is. That I haven't poured yet that I'm going to pour. comes with another project, but I'm going to use it. And I'm going to make a plate stand for this. So. But yeah, that's probably going to be, I don't know, I might do one more Valentine's thing. But this is probably going to be close to the last Valentine's thing I do. That turned out really pretty though. Look at the back of that. Wow. Very nice, guys. This little things here they kind of the colors blood you see that on the hearts on that confetti from Dollar Tree the confetti blood the red blood in the maybe because of the heat map I don't know maybe all right guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed we make Valentine's display I don't know what you call it too big to be a coaster uh, that's what I said. I'm just gonna make a plate stand and it can sit up on a plate stand. So, I'll find somebody who wants it. <laughs> Alright, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope your resin cures beautifully. Your craft projects turn out amazing. Hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.